Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to map a spreadsheet using the felt.com mapping platform. Let's go ahead and take a look here at felt.com. It's a great multimedia mapping tool, and they have this new feature for mapping spreadsheet data. So I'm going to zoom out here on my new map, and we're going to focus on the state of Maine for this demo. And I'm going to call my map population of Maine counties. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a spreadsheet that I have of the population of Maine counties. So there you can see I have Maine population by county in a spreadsheet. I'm going to use this as a data layer. And then the spreadsheet will get uploaded to felt.com and I'll soon be able to customize the display once that is completely uploaded. We'll see it's over here on the right hand side, it's processing. And once it's processed, it's going to create a map that I can further customize. Now we can see here that my map has been generated, but all of the counties are the same color. I want it to be differentiated based on the size of the population of each of these counties. So let's click on the style function. And first of all, we can swap it from simple to colors. And then we can choose a gradient. But what I need to do is select this option for color by, and you can see it automatically selected a column that I had in my spreadsheet called year. I want to select county name from my spreadsheet. And then it differentiates the colors based on the size of the population. Now I can further customize this by using different color schemes here. And I can have my labels turned on or off. So you can see there, I can have my outline turned on or off. I can make my weighting bigger and my font size bigger as well. Now it's labeling every county as main. So to change that so that every county isn't labeled as main, you'll notice my label column here, label by, and I wanna label by state. I wanna label again by county name. And now we see county names appearing on my map as opposed to just having the default that was selected for me, which was the state name. So now I have my county name showing up on there. Now, again, I can change the size of that, make it smaller or larger, and I can still go in and add in labels if I wanted to by using the text function here. And I could put a label up here and say that I wanna write something like, Go visit Fort Kent. And so I can have that little extra label that I want to write on top there. And I can even go and use you know, a marker tool to point out where Fort Kent is. And say, I'm going to go visit Fort Kent up here. So I can still do that on top of the map that was generated by importing that spreadsheet data. Now, I did this by county, but I could also do this by zip code. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So let's go home in my felt account and create a new map. And I'm going to create a map of population by town or city. And this process will be the same. I'm going to upload a spreadsheet. And I have that spreadsheet on my desktop here. And let's get my spreadsheet population of main towns. And let's go ahead and create it. And it's going to upload that file for me. And you can see I just did a few towns here, just a small handful of towns. And I'm going to zoom to fit. So we're going to zoom in a little bit. And again, let's go into our style. And we want to label 
by zip code. We're going to change this out to color scheme. And so we're going to have different colors. Now, these two are very similar in population size. The difference of only about 500. So in this case, that color, the differentiation in the color is really not noticeable. But I can still go into my data. And you can see there's my data. I can go to my legend. And we can see, okay, 1,000 to 3,000 is that color. 3,000 to 6,000 is another color. And we go back into our style. And we can do categories instead of numbers. And we can swap it out. And instead of doing population, do zip code. Take it back to population. And I can have my population as a label or I can have my zip codes as the label. So that's a couple of the ways that you can map spreadsheet data on felt.com's mapping platform. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel. And in the description of this video, I have more links to more felt mapping tutorials.